Just in time for the 4th of July holiday, Match Restaurant and Cocktails here to show us how to make some adult frozen treats. That's right. Curator of these libations, Maxwell Berlin, joining us. And we thought, you know what, we're celebrating 4th of July and it's a little hot here, but we thought we'd go to the beach at least for this segment. I like right. it. We're standing on the beach, right? You can see on the TV right there. See how we do that? Nice, huh? Looking magic, good. magic of television. Yes. All right, Maxwell, I am really excited to try right. these, but what's great about it is there's there's so much behind these turtle pops, as you call them. Absolutely. What exactly are these? Right. So I kind of wanted to bring something back from my childhood. So uh, this is something that I grew up eating, but, you know, I wasn't able to consume alcohol. And Looks I thought, like an otter pop. Bada bing, bada right? boom, there you go. Uh, but we make these in-house. We make all sorts of different flavors that change. Um, and then with it, there's also a dollar donation for the World Wildlife Turtle Fund Conservation. This is awesome. Great idea. Thank you so How much. How do you make these? Right, so this is really easy to do at home. You know, the hardest thing that you're gonna have to find are these really cool, you know, frozen mm -hmm. tubes. Are but they you can on get Amazon? These. You can get these on Amazon. You, you can go. get them at all your major, <laughs> all your major oh, outlets. Yes. I saw these at Target the other day. Oh, and they really? were like a dollar for a packet. Oh, Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. And then at that point, the idea is to keep enough booze in it where they're fun to drink, but they're not enough to not let it freeze. Okay. So I always start with a base of juice. It's really great to use whatever you know seasonal fruit you have. This is kind of a mixture of lemons, uh, fresh lemon juice and sugar and water. I made okay. a lemonade. Make a um, lemonade. Right. I added a little bit of citric acid to it, something you can get in all the markets nowadays, but it makes it nice and tart. Okay. okay. With it, I have a, a local gin. Oh, so we're going nice. to make this like a we big always cocktail. Like local. Right. There we go. So you're aiming for about 20% alcohol. Most spirits are about 40% alcohol, so you want to dilute it quite a bit. But there's a nice big cup of gin there. And then to make it fun, you know, you have all these different really oh, cool liqueurs right, that colors. we make. Everything from red to violet, the whole spectrum. Uh, for 4th of July, we have really cool so blue one that we're going to be making. So this is blue curacao. And this is something you can get in all your major markets. You can get this at the grocery store, Total Wine, Bevmo, and make it. How cool is that? Yeah. That nice, pretty alone. nice dark idea. and blue. Something to keep in mind, uh, this is a little bit of gelatin. And this really is helps that what's gonna help help it? keep it nice and firm. Okay. So to take it, you'd use powderized gelatin and use a little bit of water, warm water, to bloom it. Okay. And I just mix that in Maxwell, a just little about, bit. About 15 seconds left. Tell us once again uh, how much they are and where the right. donations so, are going to. Right. So this is at Match Cuisine and Cocktails mm -hmm. in downtown Phoenix. And then we use a dollar of every purchase to go to the World Wildlife Turtle yeah, Fund Conservation. All right. nice. Let's Great get idea. this party started, guys. Supporters, Happy Fourth.